So in this episode of NCAP TV, I get to wear a lab coat and we're going to talk about NCAP punch. Stay tuned. So have you ever heard someone say, I put off cleaning the carpet as long as possible because I knew that once I cleaned the carpet the first time, it's just going to keep getting dirty after it's been cleaned. You've no doubt run across that. People have been saying that for years. Well, why do people say that? Well, the reason why is because when we clean carpet, we're going to leave something behind. We like to get out everything. We try to get out all the dirt. But the chemistry that we work with is going to stay in the carpet to a limited extent. So to illustrate what we're talking about, I set up this little science project here for you. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take some red food dye. We're going to take some water. And we're going to illustrate the effect that our pre-spray has when we are working with carpet and what we might be leaving behind in the carpet. So let's follow along. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of our red food dye. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take about one milliliter into an eight ounce cup of water. Now the, the bottom mark here on this is one milliliter. So I'm going to get a, as close as I can get to one milliliter. That looks like we're right on it right there. We're going to put that into a cup of eight ounces of water kind of run that in there okay so as you can see we've got one milliliter of food dye in a cup of water so hopefully you can see that you can see how red that is I'll put it in front of my cool white lab coat here you can see how red now now keep in mind that's one milliliter of dye to eight ounces of water that's a pretty big dilution uh, ratio when you think about one milliliter versus eight ounces of water. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take about a milliliter of this diluted water and dye and I'm going to bring it over here into this cup of plain water. Now watch what happens. As you can see even a milliliter of that turned this water fairly pink. I'm not sure how much you can tell but you can see how pink that is. So in other words, that's a milliliter diluted in eight ounces of water. I'm holding it up against my, my cool lab coat here so you can see what I'm talking about. So diluted, we've got this so diluted, and yet we're leaving residue. One milliliter to eight ounces, and a milliliter of this concoction in another eight ounces, and it's still turning the water pink. So what's the point of this exercise with dye in water? When we take our pre-spray in a hot water extraction application, we put strong pre-spray onto the carpet with the intention of breaking up the soil, getting it to emulsify and release from the carpet. That's the point of a good pre-spray. It has a lot of solvents, it's a, typically got a little bit of pH to give it some kick, you've got surfactants and builders and so forth. There's a lot of different ingredients to get in there and get the job done. And then we rinse the carpet. But keep in mind, when we add water to that concoction, we still have a good amount of that strong starter point. Again, one milliliter to eight ounces leaves an awful lot of red dye in our water. Even further diluted down one milliliter to this cup of eight ounces, we still see it's coming out pink. In other words, how much water would it take to fully rinse out every last bit of that pre-spray from the carpet? It's basically impossible. So what we've done with NCAP Punch, Rather than going down this path, what we have is everything that makes our product work as a pre-spray is balanced with our encapsulating polymer that crystallizes beautifully. So there's really nothing that can be left in the carpet that will attract soil. In fact, if you were to apply NCAP punch undiluted, straight out of the jug on the carpet and walked on it, you'd find that that area would stay cleaner than the surrounding area of carpet. It is not going to attract soil. That's the advantage of using this in a hot water extraction application or in an, as an encapsulation pre-spray. It's going to resist soil. It's not going to attract soil like traditional hot water extraction pre-sprays would. So one more reason why we think that this product is exceptional for hot water extraction as well as encapsulation. And it's one more way that we help you max your end cap here at Excellent Supply. Thanks for watching this episode. Please share your comments below Hit the like button and subscribe. We appreciate it when you do that too. Have a great day.